Hey everyone, I am back with the results of my Kinky Curly Fro Sew-In. This is what it's looking like. Pretty freaking awesome. Um, I'll try to get in pretty close so that you guys can see the textures and how it's blending. And um, this is hair that I got by VABK on Instagram. And it's also, um, she goes by VA's Best Kept Secret and um, Beauty, by, Beauty by VABK. Um, I'll put some links in the description box. And if anyone is in Chicago, my girlfriend Alicia is who did the actual sew-in of my hair. And I'll also have her email below. So for Chicago ladies, if you're looking for a sew-in, that's who I go to. It's my girlfriend. So this is the result. The hair is like a 4B, what I say. And I think that my hair is kind of a mixture of 3C, 4A. So I can definitely tell the difference between the texture of my hair and of uh, the weave, but it blends fine because like most naturals, we have multiple textures on our hair, um, in our, on our head, you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. I have this portion right here of leave out, and then I have the perimeter of leave out. So um, yeah, this is how everything blends together, and it is so big, and like, oh, I want to make this video short. Initial reactions. <laughs> My girlfriend did the sew-in, and I was slightly intimidated because of how much hair it is. You guys, if you're familiar with my videos, you know um, my hair is pretty fine. It's not very thick, um, but it's easy to work with. I can detangle my hair in the shower in like three minutes. It's not that big of a deal. It dries pretty quickly. It takes heat pretty quickly. Um, it shrinks very easily, but, you know, it's pretty manageable, I would say. So I, and I don't have this much hair. I feel like I don't even have half this much hair. This is just like, I would have to pick f for days to get this. So initial reactions, I was slightly intimidated by how much hair this is. I felt like I was getting tons of compliments, but I was kind of shrinking like, oh my God, everyone's looking at me. I have all this freaking hair. What am I going to do? But um, I've had it in for two days now and I actually love it. When I went to the gym, I, um had it just back. I just took a hair tie and like pulled it back like this and I said let me just go. I gotta still live my life. To Last night I tried to detangle it. I got in the shower and from start to finish it took two hours um, to take it, to get in the shower, detangle it um, using like a deep conditioner, a shower tooth, like a, sh a wide tooth shower comb and then getting out of the shower and putting it in twists. That whole process took about two hours I had a lot of shedding. Um, I don't know if it's the hair. I don't know if it's just curly hair, curly weave in general or what. Um, but it was what I would consider a lot of shedding. It's not a big deal because it's initial, like the initial first wash and um, condition and detangle for me with the hair. I had not detangled it before, so I'm not stressing. It's a lot of freaking hair, so I was kind of happy that it shedded. But we'll see how this goes. Um, definitely will not be washing this hair a lot, maybe once every other week. Um, I'm going to use twists at night. And like last night, I did a few flat twists in the front, um, around my perimeter especially, to make sure my hair was blended. And then just twists everywhere else. I'm trying to think of what else I can fit into this initial reaction video. I'm really happy. Um... I was scared of the hair at first just because it's so much hair, but I feel like I'm embracing it. Uh, you can't hide. What I would say, any anyone, like my one warning, anyone that's going to get a curly weave, like some real textured 4B curly weave, please, please, please make sure you know how to already care for your hair if you're natural or you know how to care and manipulate curly hair. I've been natural. I transitioned in 2009, and I did my big chop in 2010. So I have quite a few years, I would say, under my belt with styling my own hair. So, you know, it didn't seem that daunting to actually style the hair because um, I felt familiar with curly hair until I got in the process. And I last night, I kind of looked at myself in the mirror and excuse my profanity, I said, oh, shit. Like, like I, I didn't even know what I had gotten myself into. I, all of a sudden, I could understand how naturals who, this is their texture, and they have really coarse, thick, beautiful hair. 
um, will say I wash my hair once a month or if it's washed at night, I'm washing my hair all night or it takes me hours or, you know, all that stuff to detangle, it takes hours. I never could really relate to it. I was like, I don't, I mean, I just, that's not my struggle. So I didn't get it. Like I, like I understood it, but I didn't really relate to it. And now I hands down can relate to it. So, um, yeah, but yeah, this is, this is my sewing. Um, I've only had it two days. I'm going to be documenting my experiences with it. So far, so good. But I'm also, announcement in the process of moving. Yes, I stay on the move. I am moving to Seattle. So I'm in Chicago. I'm like born in Chicago. I've lived many, many places. Um, but I'm moving to Seattle in two weeks, which is exciting and... I guess it's just exciting. So if anyone is in Seattle, let me know. I'm trying to reach out to other bloggers and vloggers that live in the Seattle area and make some um, connections with people out there. I'm pretty much connected with the Chicago blog scene, which I enjoy immensely. So that's something I'm looking forward to when I go to Seattle. So anyone in Seattle, hey, I'll be out there in two weeks. Um, but yeah, you guys, this is the hair. I'll try to... It so you can see the back, and this is it. It's like I love it. Like, I probably once I take it out, I'm not gonna know how to transition back to having hair not this big. Um, I wonder if I could grow my hair out like this. I don't think my hair would get this thick, but I, I've always laughed at people that do challenges. But I may actually try to get my hair to grow out, but yeah, you guys can see it's it blends beautifully. Um, yeah, I kind of cover up a track if I'm going to be going up for, like, a style that's up there. But for the most part, you can see my hair is a like, this is my hair. So I definitely have to twist it because my, like, front part is a little looser. Um, I kind of like it. I think it looks natural. My boyfriend likes it. That's what matters. <laughs> but, yeah, guys, this is it. So we ask any questions you have. Um, where I got the hair will be in the description box. Who did my sewing in Chicago will be in the description box. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask and I'll try to answer them. Um, if you have questions or just want to know how it's wearing, um, I'll be shooting more videos. So, yes, this is the hair in all its glory. It's exciting to have a sew-in that is like my hair so I'm gonna still be protecting my leave out um, unlike when I was rocking my sew-in that was straight like bone straight hair and I had that for about a month which I love just the change of pace to have straight hair but I had to constantly straighten my hair um, though I would opt between just doing flat twists or something but yeah if I wanted to like style it to go somewhere I had to straighten my hair and I didn't really have like real damage but I just it was I was very aware of how much heat I was putting on my hair. So yeah, I'm loving this. I feel like me, but like, if my hair popped a molly, I'm just, I don't pop mollies. Uh, I don't condone drug use. But if my hair popped a molly, I think it looked like this. So guys, this is my hair. I just wanted to show everyone. Let me know what you guys think. <laughs> Alright, talk to you guys later. Bye.